In this video, I'll share how you can create cinematic CGI ads for any product using Nano Banana Pro and VEO 3.1. Alright, let's start with step one. And this is the most important part of the whole process. Choosing the product. A lot of creators usually show workflows using big popular brands, but I'm doing this a little differently in this video. I'm not just showing brand ads. I'm showing you how you can create CGI ads for your own products or for your client's products. So for this tutorial, I've selected four different product types, a perfume, an energy drink, a smartwatch, and a pair of sneakers. These four products alone can represent hundreds of client use cases, from e-commerce stores to brand campaigns and social media ads. Now, instead of writing a new prompt from scratch for every product, I built a single master template that works for almost any CGI billboard ad. With this template, you only change one section, and the rest of the structure stays the same. An enormous L-shaped, glasses-free, 3D LED screen situated prominently at a bustling urban intersection, designed in an iconic architectural style, reminiscent of Shinjuku in Tokyo, or Taiku Li in Chengdu. The screen displays a captivating glasses-free 3D animation featuring scene description. The characters and objects possess striking depth and appear to break through the screen's boundaries, extending outward or floating vividly in midair. Under realistic daylight conditions, these elements cast lifelike shadows onto the screen's surface and surrounding buildings. Now that the product and template are ready, let's move to step two, which is where we actually generate the CGI images. For this video, I'll be using Polo AI because it brings everything I need into one place. Instead of switching between five different apps for image generation, video creation, editing, in-painting, and upscaling, Polo AI gives me all of that in a single platform. Polo AI is an all-in-one AI video generator, and what I love is how creator-friendly it is. You get access to multiple AI models right inside the same interface, including Nano Banana Pro, VO 3.1, and even Sora 2. I'll click on AI Image, then switch to Image to Image. On the left side, I'm selecting Nano Banana Pro as the model. Now I'll upload my energy drink image, and I'll paste my master template here. And in the scene description, I'll replace it with this. The screen displays a captivating glasses-free 3D animation, featuring a giant energy drink can smashing through the screen surface with a burst of ice shards, mist, and carbonated vapor exploding outward into the urban air. After that, I choose my aspect ratio. I select the resolution. You can go all the way up to 4K. And once everything is set, I simply hit Create. And just like that, I get cinematic CGI images like these. Now I'll do the same thing for my sneaker. I upload the product image, add my prompt that says, the screen displays a captivating glasses-free 3D animation featuring a giant sneaker stomping down through the screen's surface as if it is stepping into the real city street with shockwave ripples, dust, and air displacement spreading outward. And now you can see I get these cool product images instantly. I repeat this exact same process for my other products. Once all the images are generated, I simply download all the final hero images, because these will be used in the next steps for animation. Before we move to the next use case, quick reminder, everything you're seeing in this video, the prompt structure, the workflows, all of this is already organized step-by-step step inside my Nano Banana Pro prompt guide. Inside the guide, you get complete copy-paste prompt templates full workflow breakdowns, and 50 plus crazy professional use cases just like these. So instead of guessing or experimenting for weeks, you can just follow proven systems and get results immediately. You'll find the direct link to the guide in the description and pinned comment. Now that all the final CGI images are ready, we move to step three, which is creating the clean first frames. These first frames are the empty billboards. No product, no effects. Just the screen and the city environment. These clean frames are extremely important because they become the starting point of the animation. Now, Nano Banana has a pretty cool feature of deconstructing the image to its original phase. So I choose this drink image and on the right click image to image and add this prompt. Using the uploaded image, remove the product advertisement completely and remove all motion effects. Reconstruct the billboard so it looks completely clean, empty, and realistic as if no advertisement is playing on it. Keep the same city, buildings, lighting, camera angle, crowd, street, and reflections exactly the same. The billboard should display a plain soft screen with no branding or graphics. I keep the same aspect ratio and resolution. 
then I hit create. And now I get a perfectly matched clean first frame that looks like the scene before the ad comes to life. I repeat this same process for the energy drink, perfume, and smartwatch images as well. Once all the clean frames are ready, I download them, because now we're finally ready for the animation step. Now that we have both parts, the clean first frame and the final CGI billboard image, we can finally bring everything to life with animation. And for this part, I'm using VEO 3.1 inside Polo AI. This is where the magic happens. I go to image to video, and from the model options, I choose VEO 3.1 fast. I'll start with the energy drink ad. I upload the clean empty billboard as my first frame, and the final CGI ice blast energy drink image as my last frame. I'll add my prompt. The camera is fixed on a busy city intersection with people walking naturally. The empty billboard begins to freeze over as frost crawls across the screen surface. A silhouette forms behind the ice. Suddenly, the billboard explodes outward as a giant energy drink can smashes through with bursting ice shards, cold mist, and drifting frozen particles. Pedestrians react in real time as debris falls. The can pushes forward in slow motion before settling into the final hero frame. And just like that, Polo AI generates a cold, cinematic, ice-shattering ad, completely from two images and one prompt. Now let's take this CGI ad even further. We already animated the can smashing through the screen, but what if we want the action to continue beyond that final frame? I take the last frame of my animation, the moment the can explodes through the billboard, I'll take a screenshot of the last frame, and then upload it to Polo AI. Now instead of creating a brand new animation, I want the AI to continue the sequence from exactly where we left off. So I switch to image to video, choose VEO 3.1, and use this as my continuation prompt. Here is the exact continuation prompt I use. The camera stays locked on the same wide city intersection as the can finishes bursting through the billboard. The can rotates once in midair, then jumps forward toward the street with a realistic heavy metallic bounce. It lands on the ground with a solid impact, causing small chunks of ice and cold mist to scatter outward across the pavement. With just this prompt, Polo AI picks up exactly where the previous animation ended, making the can jump, land, pop open, and spray the drink across the scene. And you can extend your ads as much as you want. Add more impacts, more product moments, more transitions. Here's the full ad. Next, I'll animate the smartwatch. Again, clean billboard as the first frame, final holographic smartwatch CGI image as the last frame and VEO transforms it into a smooth, futuristic tech animation. And just like this, you can do it for all your products. Now, before I show you the final ads I created for the next products, if you want to try out everything I showed today, check out Palo AI. I added the link in the description. And if you want to master Nano Banana Pro and take your results way beyond what I showed here, then definitely check out my Nano Banana Pro guide. This guide has everything you need in one place, from cool workflows, to plug and play prompt templates and over 70 plus powerful use cases with their exact prompts. It's basically the shortcut I wish I had when I started. You don't have to experiment for weeks or guess what works and waste credits. You just copy, paste, and create professional grade outputs instantly. And the best part? I update it regularly with new prompts, new techniques, and new workflows as Nano Banana Pro keeps getting better. And if you want to see some cool ways to use Nano Banana Pro, this is the video you must watch.